In the last video, we took a look at the really powerful copy merged feature. Hopefully by now you've had a chance to give it a try. And in this video, I'm going to expand on the principle by altering that initial lasso selection. We're going to soften it up a bit. The copy merge technique is so great because of how direct and quick it is. So I don't want to ruin that by taking 15 minutes to create my initial selection. It can be nice though, when that selection is a little bit softer. So here's how I like to do it. I'll start like last video by making a selection with the lasso tool, but this is a hard edge. So instead I want to switch into quick mask mode and that's either Q on your keyboard or the button at the bottom of the tool palette. And then this is just like a normal layer now. So I can actually filter this whole selection. So I'll blur it to soften up that edge a little bit. And then I'll switch out of quick mask mode and proceed as normal. Edit, copy merged, and then I can paste that on a new layer. So this time you can see it's got a softer edge. And that'll be much easier to integrate back into my illustration. So here once again I want to alter the direction of the horse's head. But if you've watched many control paint videos, you know that I'm big on efficiency. And this process, it doesn't really change much from time to time. All I do is the same sequence over and over. So this is a perfect opportunity for a Photoshop action. In fact, the only part of this process that changes is the shape of the initial selection. So I'll get my lasso tool, pick around the horse's head, and now I'll hold off. Because beyond this point, the steps are always going to be the same. And that's a good cue that it's time to record an action. So I'll go to Window, Actions. I'll make a new action called Soft Selection. You could also call it Soft Copy Merged or something that'll help you remember what it is. And hit Record. So now the steps are as follows. Go into Quick Mask Mode, Filter, Blur, some sort of blur, and I'd say three or four pixels. Okay. Leave quick mask mode. Copy merged. Paste. And at this point, I'll hit stop on the action. So now you can see the result is the same as before, only with a softer edge. But the beauty of this action is that I can use it at any point with a single key press. So say I wanted to change the angle of his face. I could draw a quick lasso around his face and then run my new action. So here I have it on a separate layer and I could do any sort of free transform I wanted. And of course you still have to paint back in afterwards to reintegrate it into your painting, but the odds are softening up that selection will actually help you avoid quite a bit of that opaque painting afterwards. So my hope is that this technique will free you guys up a bit because artists grow the most when making mistakes and then correcting them. So the more that you allow yourself to just move stuff around inside your paintings, the faster you'll begin to make discoveries. This Photoshop trick is really just a way to facilitate the more important issue, which is course correction. But if you're not bogged down by the layer stack and by all sorts of menu items, you're more likely to learn to fix your own mistakes. So if you've got any additions to this technique, I'd love to hear about them. Put them in the comments. Thanks for watching.